Good evening, I'm Holden Apsher. The Monroe County Board of Health extended the county-wide mask mandate through December. Currently, Monroe County is at 123 COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people. The health order will not expire until the county drops below 50 cases per 100,000. I would just like to remind the people that are unvaccinated that if they're not happy with the mask mandate, uh, we know what has to happen for this, for this regulation to go away. Currently, 57.5% of eligible people in Monroe County are fully vaccinated. Independent testing of paint flakes from the November 5th controlled burn on the South High Street in Bloomington have confirmed concentrations of 10 to 12% lead. Leah Wood, a researcher with IUPUI, says the residents have a reason to be concerned after the paint flakes spread half a mile west. She recommends that if you live in the area of contamination, not to eat vegetables grown in your garden. Duke Energy Indiana hopes to be coal-free by 2035 and have about 60% of its generating capacity be renewables in the next two decades. The company will keep its coal gasification plant in Edwardsport running, as well as adding a new natural gas plant. Immediately proposing gas replacement is climate disaster. That's not the outcome that we're looking for. It's not what their customers are asking for. Duke's plan also calls for speeding up the retirements of its coal units by an average of four years. And now for a look at the weather tonight. It's mostly cloudy with a low of 29. Looking at the five-day forecast, mostly cloudy on Saturday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.